nowadays it's rare you'll find a city without a skateboarding scene, and every scene needs a central hub where people can meet up and skate together. In Plymouth, this place is undoubtedly the Civic Centre, a flat area located in the heart of the city, a place where the skateboarding history dates back over 20 years and still thrives to this day. With Royal Parade's many bus stops on its doorstep, Civic is the perfect meeting place for skateboarders from Plymouth and its surrounding areas. And the selection of things to skate makes it the unrivalled home of Plymouth's skate scene. Whether you want to skate the benches, the wave, the flat ground, or the locally famous white wall. In the spring of 2013, Ollie Howe's highly anticipated skateboarding film Civic Days is set to be released demonstrating the talent of the best skateboarders Plymouth has to offer. Because although it's true that the public and the council have never really seen eye to eye with the locals, Civic Days will hopefully shed some light on the true incentive of Plymouth skaters and show the public that it's not a reckless and insubordinate sport, revealing the genuine nature of the skateboarders in their local area. In addition to the locals that there already are, the Plymouth skateboarding scene is growing rapidly, with the sport becoming more and more popular with today's youth. Even with the arrival of the new Central Park Skate Park, the Civic Centre is still the favoured spot for Plymouth skaters, who have formed a tight bond with the spot and the people they have met there. And Civic shows no signs of dying out anytime soon, 